Uh, hello. Uh, I'm going to be doing just a little tour of this Minecraft world I play on with some friends. And, uh, yeah, I just want to, like, make a log of it before, you know, if anything ever happens to it. So this is just my little starting hut. We'll try to show you guys things in order. But this is just the little mine I made and I was living in for my first few nights. A uh, little bridge. And then I have a really big farm with a whole bunch of roads and stuff through it. So I detailed it out with some like nice little custom bushes and these big stones. And over here, you know, I have like a, it's supposed to like a stump, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, so but let's start on. Um, Let's go over here. So over here, I got my carrots and my potatoes. And I got my big old windmill. And then I got a big old wheat field. Some hay bales. Um, and behind that we have the, uh, what is this, the beetroot? With some pumpkins and melons all sorted through here. You know, just half and half, and then I made this to be like a like a cherry bush uh, field. And these these were green originally when I placed them. I have an add-on that makes the spruce trees like autumn kind of leaves, and these are like little buckets of cherries. I made with some nether rock, and uh, yeah, I think this turned out pretty cute. Over here, I have like a little lake with a nice little like bench over there next to like my um my sugar cane area. All right, and this and this road just goes right down the middle to where I was before. And then over here, I have a sunflower field and like a little olive branch, with a olive tree field over there. And then over here, this is supposed to be like a vineyard. It has like grapevines and stuff, like instead of just doing like a simple weird vine farm. I made it look like grapevines with like buckets of grapes right here. Um, over here, this is like my little bamboo farm. I like how this turned out. This little, this chicken got stuck here by chance really early on. Like, uh, it's been here like two months, honestly. And it, uh, it, uh, it stuck, but it kind of looks like a duck. And I kind of like it. So I keep them there. I should put a name tag on them. And then over here, it's not done. It's going to be a park with tree farms around it. But I have my oak and my spruce trees done. And yeah, there's nothing left over here yet. I haven't gotten to that part. Okay, now we can do some interior stuff. But I do want to, I want to build up and I want to show you what it looks like from like the air. Because I think it looks pretty nice. I'll say, you know, and some of the terrain and stuff, it's not fully done. This road's not fully done, and it's just kind of work in progress, but I got kind of lazy. Okay, let's... Okay, so there's my road, and I think it looks pretty cool from, like, up high. If I still make, if it's nighttime by the time this video is done, which I don't think it will be... <laughs> Then I could show you. It looks really nice at nighttime, especially from the top of that mountain behind it. I eventually kind of want to make finish this farm, and then make like a wall, and then put like a like a city over there on the other side of the hill. But eventually, all right. So this was my original front door over here. And it's like a little balcony, kind of overlooking water. This hole right here was actually a cave that came to like around here-ish originally and I hollowed out this whole thing myself. So I have like a little sitting area by the window with a big brick fireplace. And then I just want to show you while I'm still here. If you come out, you can see that it's actually a working fireplace that sticks out, which is kind of cool. And let's go go. The squids, I always have so many ink sacks because the squids here just endlessly kill themselves. Okay, so here's like my main hallway, and here I got like a little kitchen. It's got seats on a little like island, got a refrigerator, some cabinets, I got a sink, I got some smokers and some stoves, 
more cabinets, a little clock and storage and stuff. Right next to it, I have my forging area. So some smithing tables, stone cutters, forge wall and stuff. I, I want to replace this leather with chainmail eventually. I've just been forgetful about it. A little blast furnace. Then over here, it's more like the wood. The wood that's like supposed to be like, kind of like the steelworks. This is like the woodworks area, where it's all like got like a little like saw area, and then it's got like bows and crossbows and like lots of leather working things and some like a little chopping station with some logs tied down. So it's like the yeah. So it's supposed to be like that. And then down here, I have a storage room, a bunch of like old locked up storage stuff here, and then. This is where I keep all my crap, all my, like, you know, my cobblestone and stuff. Um, I, I actually really like how this storage turned out. It turned out it's a lot less bland than my storage rooms usually are. And here, this is my, like, my treasure vault. You can't actually go in here, but it's got all the swaggy items I could think of. Got a little diamond hoe up there. Yeah. Okay. And also, let me just see, the, these steps, I really like how these steps turned out, because they're just kind of like, they're incredibly like random and inconsistent, and I, I don't know, I really like how, they, how they're functional, but they look interesting. Okay, and then let's go in here. This is my explorer room, so it's got like a little meeting room there, it's got like a little like desk with like a book and quill and stuff, and then it's got a library section and then over here it's got a globe and then it's got a big world map I've been working on it's not done but it uh it's been taking me for a long time to get this done it's it's quite it takes like forever to do one of these maps because they're all level four maps and then over here I have uh the uh my local map, like that's the tree farm, and then that's like the other fields. Then over here where the road ends is like the front door with like the little bridge by the vine and stuff. And then over here, right next to it, this is like this is like a really cute room, I think. It has this is my brewing room, and it has one of like every ingredient with some extra stuff mixed in there, like poison potatoes and spider webs and grass, things that I just thought kind of fit this room's like whole like aesthetic. And, but yeah, I, I really like this. This is, it's got like a little cauldron on the brew. And that's got, you know, the smoke goes up there. So it's, it's pretty cute. It's a pretty cool room, I think. Um, okay, and then we got another room over here. And this is, oh, I thought for a second I thought something spawned in here. This is uh, the dungeon. So it's got two cells of the same one, you know, a bed, a toilet, and a sink. And you can't, there's no way to open the door from the inside if it's closed. The same stuff in here, you know. Um, I, and then I got like a little guard table, like a little book from the read or something. Storage and stuff. And then again, these stairs, I like how they turned out all kind of like messy and stuff. I never got to it, but over here I did want to put like a wood working, like loom uh, room in there. Then here's like my little bedroom. And... Yeah, it's got some simple stuff there, and a little, little bed. Here's my cat magic. Uh, yeah, and outside, it's just kind of, there's nothing here yet. I want to put a backyard here eventually, put a grilling area and stuff, but I just haven't gotten to it. It's also where I'm keeping all my animals for right now. And then over here, almost past it, I got my bathroom. So it's got a toilet, a little, paper to, a little toilet paper roll there with the scroll pattern and then you know mirror sink towels shower more towels on shelves little hamper uh it's a cute little kid bathroom and then up here i got my bar i really like how this bar turned out it's pretty simple but it i think it i think it works pretty well it's got a little keg back here on the barrel and stuff and then over here I got like tables and such, and I have a bunch of tied up kegs over here. And then it's like a little like living room area, a little coffee table, couches, a little recliner here, big screen TV. 
Uh, I've got my my little gaming PC area right here. Uh, and then it just it goes out to that same area. Um, okay, and there is one more room to this house, which took me the longest, I think, to make out of all these. It was a pretty cool room, I think, though. It's my magic room, where it's, like, really overgrown and kind of, like, mystic with, like, all this wild magic floating around. And it has my nether portal on the wall. And then it has the enchanting table in the middle. And this is a working table, too, if I put something in there. It's 30, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's not it's not just like a big block it, it, it managed I managed to fit them all in there like interestingly and uh, yeah that's that's it for the inside of the house it's nighttime right now though so let me uh, show you what it looks like at night because it does look pretty cool at night I think I'm trying to think if there's anything I forgot but I think I, I think that is everything I'm pretty sure that's everything. Oh, I guess I didn't show you the front door that much, really. I have like, well, the front door of the bar. It, it's this guy. I think it looks kind of nice. It's like I made mean, it look kind of overgrown. Just Tarek's pub and grill right there, you know. But uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun making. I thought this took me a lot of time, and it's still there's still a lot of things I want to do, but I just haven't done. So it's like it's kind of a pain. Okay, uh, just gonna climb this mountain, and you'll see what it looks like from up high. I could build up, but I don't know. I feel like every time I build up, it doesn't look that impressive, and there's creepers over there. But whenever I like come back to my house and it's nighttime, like here, look at this. Doesn't this look awesome at nighttime? Like this is why I can't wait till the road is all detailed and finished, and like. I also want to add a bunch of podzel into the pumpkin field and stuff. I don't have any podzel anywhere, but like I think it looks pretty cool. And like, like I'm saying, over there where my cursor is, when, like when, this will all be finished. The farm area over here, I'll have a road and then like a wall there, and then I want like a little kingdom in there. That was the fastest skeleton ever. I'm gonna run away before I die on camera now. Uh. And, you know, thanks thanks for watching, everybody, if anyone watched this video all the way through. Uh, goodbye.